obviously we had a lot of absentee and in-person voting. Uh, we liked where we were going into election day. Um, I'm enc encouraging every voter who hasn't voted yet to get out and vote. The, pol the polls close at 730. Um, but we feel good about our ground game. We feel good about our get out the vote and our voter contacts. Um, we, the Victory staff just told me we've reached 15 million voter contacts, so we are almost talking to voters twice. We know what their issues are, we know what's important to them, and we know what's going to motivate them to get out and vote. We have 18 electoral college votes here in Ohio, and it's significant for anyone to win the electoral college, to win Ohio. Um, and I think, obviously, Ohio's always been a battleground state. That's why you see both campaigns here. Um, it's a competitive state, but we think we're in a good spot. But I need voters to get out and vote. We're hearing, I think, in some of the uh, college campus counties, uh, obviously students aren't there, so I think the turnout's a little bit low. I think that doesn't bode well for Democrats. Uh, in some of the urban counties, obviously it's a you know, big Democrat turnout, but I don't, in some ways they're not hitting their numbers. Uh, but uh, anecdotally, I'm hearing from our rural counties that our turnout is very big. Uh, but like I said, I feel like we're in a good spot. We still want people to get out and vote. I know it's, it's almost two hours left, and it's still a very nice day to get out and vote. We have uh, all day, we've had an election day operations war room and a political war room. We've been fielding phone calls and we've been flushing voters. Obviously that stops at 730. Um, we'll deal with any legal issues that come up, um, but then we start to anticipate uh, results. We'll be watching them. Obviously the uh, absentee and in-person votes get counted first, uh, and so we'll be uh, here at the Renaissance Hotel uh, in our war room uh, watching the results. Every voter who cares about a good economy and our constitutional rights and our freedoms and the American dream should vote for President Trump and Sharon Kennedy and Judy French and get out and vote.